So I'm really just making this for my mom because I live in Chicago. Uh, she lives in Oklahoma and um, she's actually the one who got me started on the Annie Sloan chalk paint type of antiquing paint by uh, making me watch the videos. I, but I figured if I'm gonna do something new and maybe there's somebody else out there who wants to do something new, they can see that hopefully it turns out okay. Um, so yeah, um, anyways, I just moved into a new apartment from a furnished apartment and I have to buy all new things and it's really my first apartment living alone. So I wanted to make sure that I got pieces that I loved, even if they were old pieces that I made into pieces that I loved. So, um, just watching Pinterest and stuff like that, I got uh, some ideas for headboards because they were, like, even just generic, you know, okay headboards were ridiculously expensive. And, of course, the ones that I loved were way too expensive. So, I wanted to get an idea of kind of, um, make one that I love that I'm not paying a crazy amount of money for. So, my mom came to visit me in Chicago, and we found, um, she found this uh, kind of a salvage type place and we went and looked and they actually had this old uh, fireplace mantle um, and after she had me watch the Annie Sloan, um, it was a few YouTube video tutorials by, I think her name is Kristen um, at Brown Nest Blue Egg. Um, she was great so I definitely recommend watching those. Um, but after watching those I thought like what a great idea, like let's do this, we found this mantle. so. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, so I bought the Annie Sloan chalk paint. I bought it in old white because I'm just kind of going for that old like antique. Um, I've got the clear wax and the dark wax. I bought just a regular uh, paint white paintbrush because they were out of like the Annie Sloan product um, paintbrush. And then for the dark for the waxing, I got a couple of the Annie Sloan wax uh, brushes because I felt like that was kind of important. And then as for the tutorials, I got. Um, some fine sanding paper and some fine uh, steel wool. So, um, yeah, and then the most important part uh, about this uh, whole thing, I got the wine for Liquid Courage. So, you know, if I mess it up, I at least I'll have a good time doing it. And like the lady said in the tutorial, you know, if I have to paint the thing five times, then paint it five times. So I actually... I painted the back of it just with um, just one coat, like different kind of textures and um, you know whatever, just to kind of see how it looked like when it dried and if I would need to do more than one coat or if I just needed to do one heavy coat. So I'm actually just going to do one heavy coat and if I feel like it needs more after that then I'm just going to do more after that. So I've been really nervous about this all day, I've been kind of putting it off and running errands but now it is just... Time to do it. So, pop this sucker off and I will get started. Um, I'm really nervous about like um, drip spots and all that good stuff. So, I feel like I'm going to be really timid at first, but we. I'll just try to do it. Don't make fun of my technique. I am not a veteran uh, painter. This is actually the first piece of furniture that I am painting, and I don't know why I'm picking my favorite piece to do it with, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, another thing was, with the chalk paint that I really liked, um, the Kristen, again, if I'm, should be saying Christine, I'm really sorry. Um, you know, like it's minimal. You don't have to sit there and sand the wood. You don't, like, you need to clean it. Like, there was a lot of dust and, like, you know, cobwebs on this sucker. I have no idea how old it is. Um, but, I mean, you need to clean it, but you don't need to sit there and, like, detail it, you know? So, alright, well, I'm getting this first initial, um, you know, thing going. I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me awkwardly paint this paint this thing as it goes everywhere or, you know, laugh at me as I do it in a probably not quite the, uh, the most, how do you feel what I'm looking for? What word I'm looking for, but yeah, in other words, I'm sure there are better ways to do it. I'm going to do me. Um, 
and drink wine. So once I get the uh, first coat on, I will turn the sucker back on and you can see how it turns out. So, okay.